Hello, welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. Today is the first in an occasional series of lessons on keyboard shortcuts. I love keyboard shortcuts. I probably use between 50 and 60 keyboard shortcuts on a regular basis across the office suite. And they make me more productive, they save me time, and as I make the transition to Office 2007, they have really saved the day. For today's lesson, I've organized keyboard shortcuts around those which require you to hold down the control key while you press a single letter. I will explain and demonstrate some, but not all, of these keyboard shortcuts. With control A, it depends where our cell is when we invoke control A. If I'm in a single cell in the worksheet and control A, it will select every cell in the current worksheet. To deselect it, select another cell. If I'm working in a range when I do control A, it selects only those cells in the current range that I'm working in. And to deselect it, select a single cell. Notice with control B, I've said that it's a toggle switch. What do I mean by a toggle switch? Well, let me demonstrate. Control B invokes the bold formatting, but it's a toggle, which means that if I do control B on that same text, it removes the bold formatting. A toggle is also for control I, the italic formatting, and control U, the underlining format. Control C for copying and control X. We're rather familiar with both of these. We know that when we copy or we cut information from a cell or a range, it goes on to the Windows clipboard so that we can paste it. Well, many clients are not familiar with the Office clipboard. And unlike the Windows clipboard, which only allows us to retain one item in memory, with the Office clipboard, we can retain up to 24 items in memory. And not only that, but these items that are on the Office clipboard are available across the Office suite. So these uh, items from Excel, if I switched over to Word, they would be available for me in Word. Makes it very easy to insert a chart or data from Excel into Word or into PowerPoint. To bring up or to remove the task pane, Control F1. With Control K, a hyperlink, when I hit Control K, it allows me to insert a hyperlink. We'll talk about this later on when we are. Uh, linking information from Excel into another document or into Word or into PowerPoint or actually uh, creating a hyperlink from the Internet. For Control N, we're familiar with Control N to bring up a new blank workbook with three sheets if that's our default settings. But you may not know Control W, which allows you to close a window or a worksheet. With Control P, of course, that's the print. Control D and Control R. It depends upon where we are and what we do. With Control D, if I select a single cell and do Control D, it will delete the cell. On the other hand, if I'm in a cell that contains a formula, let's say, and I select a range of cells vertically going down in a column and click Control D, it will fill the formula or if I had an entry down the column. Control R works the same way except it works horizontally across the row. So in this case I have a cell with the formula and selecting the range of cells horizontally, Control R allows me to fill that formula across the rows that I've selected. My two favorite keyboard shortcuts, Control Z. Control Z allows me to undo up to the last 16 actions, provided I haven't saved my workbook. And Control Y is the uh, opposite of Control Z. Control Y allows me to restore or to redo what I just undid. And they are marvelous. Control Z will allow you to experiment because almost anything that you type in can be undone with Control Z. And if you make a mistake, you can restore it with Control Y. So there you have a few tips and time savers using keyboard shortcuts. 
join us in the next lesson.